What's up guys? It's Dear. I'm back with another video and today we're vlogging. So I am quickly jumping in here to do an intro because I accidentally deleted the intro for this vlog. However, I won't be long. I just want to give you guys a quick synopsis. I am heading or in this video I'm getting ready to head to Soma Skin and Laser and get my second procedure of microneedling and PRP. So you guys are going to see the process of me actually getting the procedure done. You're going to see about five to seven days of aftermath and then um yeah i just am gonna leave some details down in the description box if you guys want to check out summer skin and laser for yourself if you want to check out their instagram i'll leave all those details down below so i started this process in may so technically i should have three procedures done by now but unfortunately due to scheduling conflicts i've only had two so i'm a bit behind but i talked to the dermatologist and he said that it is perfectly fine that i didn't go one month he said the time spent in between the longer the better actually so it worked out anywho i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog if you do definitely give it a thumbs up and i will see you in my next video bye hey y'all so i just finished numbing she just drew my blood so we're gonna go see what it's like to get the prp are y'all ready let's go wow all right so the blood a little bit what does this do it just prevents from clotting. Okay. This is another one that just balances the the weight. The weight, yes. Okay. And that's it. It spins for about ten minutes. And then it just separates. It and separates. that's how you get the liquid gold, guys. <laughs> So this machine, it has to be like, you have to be certified to use it and everything? Yes. Um, Alright y'all. Liquid gold is being prepared. <laughs> I'm so excited. This will be my second procedure, so hopefully we'll see some more improvements. I'm going to ask the doctor today how many sessions he actually thinks I'll need. Um, and we'll get more clarification on that, so you guys stay tuned. Mm -hmm. start the procedure they only numb my cheeks because those are my problem areas so they don't really need to do my forehead my nose my chin but I'm pretty sure if you have issues in those areas they can take care of you I look a little red today huh but look my darkness has gone down so much I used to have a huge dark mass right here so it's improving you guys so uh, the dermatologist has just stepped into the building and we're getting ready to start. I know the lighting on the last vlog was kind of iffy so I'm going to pass the camera over so that she can take over. Okay guys? <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> To your fans mm -hmm. guys it's not hurting I'll tell you that much all you feel is like a little pinch it turn turns me a little bit completely numb mm -hmm. I'm probably gonna start looking crazy in a few y'all, so just bear with us. Um, so we just injected PRP into a lot of these acne scars. And while we inject, we also use the needle to go back and forth a little bit to kind of free up the scars. It's called subcision. And now we're putting some of the PRP on the face, and then we're gonna go over it with 
roller and we're going to use that to help deliver the PRP to the skin. So that was all of what? Three minutes? Oh, right with me. So that's your that's your worst side, right? Okay. This right here is pretty deep though. Yeah, but you got you got more on the other side, I think. Okay. So this is my good side apparently guys. Now I know. <laughs> So how many sessions would you say that, or would you guesstimate that I'll need? Well, we're going to do three and then we're going to wait a bit and see kind of how we make out. Okay. Okay, and All hopefully right. we'll see some improvement. Okay guys, so this is two of three. I will check in a little later once the swelling goes down. The last time it went down in just about a day, so I'll check in later. Good morning! It has officially been a little over 24 hours since I got my second procedure of the microneedling and PRP with subcision or subcision, yeah, PRP with subcision. And I just wanted to get on and show you guys a quick little video of what my skin is looking like. I'm telling you, recovery time is so incredibly quick. If you are looking for something to improve your skin with minimal downtime, this is the way to go. It does take quite a bit, um, quite a few times of doing it, but I definitely can see some improvements today. Um, the top of my cheeks are a little bit sore, but nothing crazy, um, all bearable. So yeah, guys, I just have a bit of sunscreen on my face today, so if it looks like a white cast, that's what it is. Um, you can totally wear makeup. I, however, won't be wearing makeup to work today. By the way, if you didn't know, I'm a flight attendant. If you've never seen a flight attendant vlog, I make those on the regular. So go check them out. So for the rest of this video, I think I'm just going to show you guys a day-by-day -day progress report. So if you'd like to see what I look like within the next 7 to 10 days, stay tuned. about my acne scar removal so for those of you who are new to my channel I am getting PRP microneedling with subcision however my dermatologist does offer things to actually treat acne so I want to go back and maybe get a hydra facial and suck out all the gunk and then um, they also do acne surgery facials which are covered under insurance where they just do extractions and they do a facial and it's really nice if you haven't seen my first acne scar skin vlog you should definitely go check that out but for those of you who may not have the money to actually go um, and get this type of procedure done or maybe you just have dark spots, I'm going to show you some of the products that I've been using recently to, you know, just work on my pigmentation because the microneedling does help over time. But on a day-to-day -day basis, these are the things that I'm using. So this is my face wash and this is my Cetaphil. It's a foam wash. I don't like really like thick um 
products for facial washes i like it to be very lightweight so this is a great cleanser and then i do do a toner every now and then but that's not something that i really feel is like a key 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 component to my skin right now um one of the things that i've used for years that has always been faithful to me is ambi this is a fade cream and i just do the normal skin one because the oily skin one is way too drying for me but i use this on the dark spots here and here i was having a ton of hormonal breakouts so this has been a game changer and then obviously I talked about it in another video but my doctor prescribed me a retinoid this is tretinoin cream 0.05% so I use this only at nighttime because I don't like to use it going out in the sun and then for the daytime I use a rosehip oil this smells so incredibly good I got this at Marshalls I believe but um, it definitely can be bought on Amazon so I will leave some links down below to some of the things that I'm using on my skin I hope they help I know that everyone's skin is different however I thank you guys so much for watching today's video I really hope that it helps somebody or maybe if you're just curious about people with acne always be kind you never know what insecurities people may have so leave some love down in the comments if you're someone who struggles with acne definitely leave some like love and just support I know that we're in it together. Alright guys, this time I will really see you in the next video. Bye.